Hello, beautiful souls. Peace to the gods and the goddesses. So, in this video today, I'm going to break down why Christianity is not real. Why um, this idea of this Jesus white man in the sky is not real. And why it was created for you to keep you in spiritual bondage. All religion was created to keep you in bondage. And if you look at the Latin root words of religion, it means to tie and to bind, to put in a box, to confine. Okay? So we as spiritual beings, those of us with souls, those of us with spirits, we don't need religion. We don't need religion. The divine is within us. The power is within us. And it always has been. And the Bible says these things. It's just you have to be able, you have to clear your mind and decalcify your pineal gland, which is a real actual gland in your brain. It's And it has a retina. It actually has a retina, which your eyes have. It's your first eye. You have to decalcify your pineal gland. That way you can interpret the Bible for what it's really saying. The interpretation that we've been giving, that we've been given was given to us for the means to control us. Okay. So we miss the words of Yeshua. There is no such thing as Jesus. Jesus isn't, Jesus isn't real. Just, I'm just saying the name is made up. The white man is made, all of it's made up. Yeshua and Asar Haru, the story of Asar Haru and Aset, that is real. And that is, that began in ancient Kemet. That began in Africa, Egypt, Kemet. And it was melanated people. It wasn't no Mary and Joseph. Do y'all see how those are the white names that these people created in order to keep us in this spell and under this illusion and thinking that all these holy, righteous people are white? When in reality, white people, a lot of them, 85% of them aren't even real. That's why they created this illusion and this spell. And this is why so many melanated people are trapped. They're spiritually trapped. And you go to church every Sunday and you pay your tithes, but you're still impoverished. Not physically, not just physically, but spiritually. Many, many, many. And I know this, y'all. I, a little bit about me, so that y'all know that. For me to be able to say these things and just be fully confident in it, you have to realize how much spiritual soul searching research I've had to do. I was, I'm a PK. I am a pastor's kid at that, a Southern Baptist pastor's kid. I went to seminary. I studied hermeneutics. I studied apologetics. I know about exegetical text and dissecting. I know all of it. I know that book. Like the back of my hand, scriptures, everything. I can quote Romans 12 1, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. First Corinthians 13, love is love is good, love is this, love is that. I know that book. Proverbs 4 23. Guard your heart for out of it shows the well springs of life. I know that book. So in order for me to come to this point of realization and to be able to confidently and just say these things, you have to know one. I am not in any way trying to deceive anybody. I don't, what you believe is what you believe. And that's what Yeshua said. It's done unto you as you believe. Okay. What I'm here to do is help those of you that want to know the truth you are seeking. Okay. You have questions and you just want answers and you're seeing the loopholes and you're seeing the disconnects within Christianity and within the um, the Bible and everything, you're, it's just, it doesn't connect. You're seeing the contradictions. You're seeing, you know, all of this, this stuff coming out, all of this information. And you're like, dang, you're confused. Okay. So I am not in any way like 
whatever, just on here, just saying shit, just to say it. I've studied these things. I've researched the facts. And this is something that a lot of Christians, especially black Christians, you don't want to do this. Y'all don't want to research and study the facts. You just believe something because you've been programmed and brainwashed to believe it. Your mother believed it. Your grandmother believed it. Your great grandmother believed it. Your great great grandmother believed it. And they all believed it because they were given, it was given to them. We have to get to our roots, our spiritual roots. Until you emancipate your mind and your spirit, you will not be free. And it's amazing that this is Juneteenth. It's Juneteenth today, and it's all about emancipation and free slaves. You're not free, though. You're not free. If you have black skin, melanated skin, and you are still in spiritual bondage, and you are in mental bondage, and you have not tapped into the truth of who you really are, you're not free. You're under the spell. You're under an illusion of freedom, but you're not really free. This is why melanated people are still so, so, so oppressed, both systematically and just blatantly, okay? You have to free your mind. You have to free your spirit. You have to research the facts don't listen and just believe people because it feels good. Don't even believe me. I tell people, I tell my followers all the time on my Facebook, don't believe anything I say. You go research and find the answers yourself. Find the answers yourself. I don't want you to believe and follow me. You're not supposed to be following anybody. You are your own leader. You are God. And Yeshua said this in John 10, 34, and it's in Psalms 81, I believe. Ye are God's. You are gods, okay? So, where was Christianity created? Where did it originate and how did it start? So, people keep saying no, people keep saying, well, no, Christianity started in Africa, blah, 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 blah. No, it did not. Christianity did not start in Africa. Christianity was created with the Council of Nicaea. A group of people met together and they were European, they were white, OK, and they met together and they decided which books were going to be taken out of the Bible and which books were going to be left in the Bible and which books were going to be added to the Bible. If you go study and research, there are about 40 something books that were left out of the Bible. The book of Thomas being one. And you need to go read the book of Thomas because literally, man, that book will set your freaking mind free. And it says if the person, the person that interprets the words of this book, you will you will never taste death. I will never die. We can't die. We death is the biggest illusion of the matrix. And most Christians are so afraid of it because it's a programming and it's a lie that's been planted in our brains to keep us from knowing who we really are and rising into our true power. OK, so the Council of Nicaea. They met and they decided what was going to be taken out the Bible, what was going to be kept. And this is where they created this whole idea of this of this white Jesus. OK, and they took the story from Christianity and Jesus, Mary, Joseph, all of that. They took that story from the ancient comedic story of Aset, Haru and Asar. And Asar was the first story of the God of a, of a God man resurrecting from the dead. And they were African people. It was an African story. And it was a story. It was a story for the people. So that we, and really the story is to point us to ourselves. We are the resurrection and the life. We are. We are the gods. We have the power and it's all within our minds. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The only way you will be truly transformed from the inside out and begin to manifest and begin to tap into your alchemy, which Yeshua was, Haru said, whatever you want to call him, was the one of the greatest alchemists ever. Okay, the reason why Yeshua was able to put his eyes on the blind and make them give them sight and make the deaf people hear and um, turn water into wine and shit. The reason why the story is to show us that we can do the same thing. Yeshua is not a savior that came to save you. Yeshua is a higher dimensional being 
that came to model and to be a representative of what it is that we are supposed to be. Gods. Gods. Okay? So, that's where the Council of Nicaea, they created that, and they um, they decided which books were going to be left out, which books were going to be kept in. That's when they painted the whole, they created the whole idea of this white savior, and um, even Black Madonna, like the Pope still praised the Black Madonna. They just don't tell you this. Go look at Black Madonna. That was the Black Mary or whatever. It was, and it was, a, it was a set, okay? So... Um, what we have happening is, and this is why many, many of you are confused right now. You're very, very confused. And you're just like, I don't know what to believe. All of this information is coming out, just coming at you, coming at you. A lot of people are posting and retweeting, you know, different posts about, um, I saw one from a, a white girl and she was just like my parents told me that my ancestors created Christianity and Jesus in order to keep black people stuck and blind from knowing that they are the gods. Literally, white people are saying this. So all of this information is coming out because we are in the age of information. We are in a new age. Religion is not for fourth dimension. It's not for this new age. It's not going to serve you. It's just not. You will either just confuse yourself to death or you will just be like this little nothing cricket bird thing, you know, because you're just so, 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 so lost. Okay, we're in a new age, so you have to accept this, and you have to research, and you have to get the facts. Christianity is not real. All of those religions are not real, and all of them were stolen from African spirituality. Africa is the birthplace of everything. Everything. All religions everything you see everything that is that is what it is except for that evil the evil okay the evil is not of our way but all of the religion spiritual practices all of that it all came from africa it had to because africa is the motherland it's the birthplace of all things okay so you need to study ancient comedic principles ancient comedic truth okay so um now what the bible is doesn't mean the bible isn't real the bible is no some of it is real and some of it was added in there you have to use your pioneer gland you have to use discernment to determine what is real and what isn't and more so you have to realize that the bible is more of a navigation tool it's not something that has to be preached to you and it's not something to be taught like you have to interpret it for yourself you have to interpret it within your own spirit and within your own consciousness and when you can decode it and you can find the true interpretation of the words of yeshua then that's when you will be set free that's when you will be set free y'all are so caught up in this thing outside of you and then this idea of hell what the hell like there is no hell african spirituality does not have hell Okay, the ancient comedic people, we did not know of hell. There was no such thing. There was no such thing at all. That's all made up in this idea of the devil and all this stuff. Now, there are lower density beings. There are lower density um, people. And if you want if, if to think of hell as anything, it's the earth realm. It's 3D. It's the people that are lynching people and hanging people and and cutting out their eyeballs and taking out that's hell just shooting people raping people drinking blood that shit is hell those are literal demons that is hell okay heaven is a kingdom that is within you the kingdom of heaven is within you it's within your mind it's within your consciousness like i am in heaven I'm in heaven, baby. I'm in fifth dimension. I come down and I give messages to y'all, um, you know, come down to 3D. But in my state of consciousness, I'm in heaven. I'm literally in heaven on earth because I'm able to manifest. I'm able to draw things into my life, like, effortlessly, like, whatever I want. And it comes to me. And I, I have all of the desires of my heart. 
and I'm, I'm manifesting, continuing to manifest all the desires of my heart and alchemizing it and creating it for myself, within myself, from myself. And that's the power of your mind. And that is what Yeshua, the story of Yeshua, is really all about, is to show you, you. Ye are gods. This is why black people are the, we're the most religious people. We're the ones that are in churches the most. You don't see a whole bunch of white people and Hispanic people and Chinese people and shit in church. It's us. They created the churches for us. They created the religion for us to tame us. Why? Because we are the gods. The black woman is God. And God means generator, organizer, and dispenser. Okay? The black woman is the generator of all life. She is the organizer of all life and she dispenses life. She gives life. Okay. We are the bearers of all life through the mitochondrian Eve gene. This states that the black woman is the only organism on this planet that is able to create and replicate herself in various different shades. That means that everything comes, all human, H U E M A N, all human life originates with the black woman. So the white man being a god that is so backwards that's so in reverse and look at the word evil evil e v i l that is live in reverse there's no there's it's, it's impossible for the white man to be a god or a divine being it's impossible it doesn't genetically it, it can't happen that's why the, in this whole idea of this is a white man's world. No, it's not. It's impossible. The white man genetically cannot sustain this world. Genetically, he cannot do it. There's no such thing. And there's no such thing as a white man in the sky. That's backwards. That's reversing from the truth. That's literally reverse. The black woman is God. And that just, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. All life, every variation of every shade comes from us. When you go out to the cosmos, you go outer space, when it's dark, black, black holes, dark matter, okay? The cosmos is this fertile ground. It's fertile because it reproduces itself. So, and what do women do? Women, we reproduce ourselves. So it's fertile and it's dark. It's melanin. It's black. It's darkness, the black woman and this is why they make darkness out to be evil oh they when you think of the devil you think of it as this this dark scary like uh, dark entity but in reality and 666 666 is the number of carbon carbon is black it's melanin they've twisted everything and perverted it and that is what the devil the real devil does look at what the bible says about the devil what does it say the devil the thief the devil comes to steal kill and destroy steal kill and destroy and it also says that satan is the father of all lies let's look at the white man what does the white man do since white people came since white the white man came to this planet all he has done is steal kill and destroy and lie about every damn thing okay is this not the truth aboriginals of australia white people came the white man came stole murdered and uh lied to the Tasmanian people, to the original people of Australia, the original people of China. They were black. Stole, killed, and destroyed them. The aboriginals of Africa. Stole, killed, and destroyed the aboriginals of America, the Native Americans, the aboriginals, the indigenous people of America. Steal, kill, and destroy. The, the closest example that we have of the devil that fits what Yeshua said is white people. But then this white man in the sky is your savior? Do you understand how that is the most deceiving, deceptive lie that they've created to keep you brainwashed and under their spell? Yes. Not all white people are devils, but the white man is the first and the closest example of what we have of the devil. 
and the father of all lies. They lie about everything, everything, everything. They say Christopher, Christopher Columbus founded America. We know that's a big ass lie. They lie about the Tasmanian. They made a whole cartoon about the Tasmanian people, the Tasmanian devil. That they made a whole cartoon over people that they murdered and ravished and, and created a, and had a genocide. The Tasmanian people, and they were black. All the, all the white man has done is lied and stolen and killed and destroyed. So what does that tell you? Who is the real devil? I don't know what else to say. Really, allow that to seep in. Steal, kill, destroy. Steal, kill, destroy. Now, I'm not saying that you be, we be afraid of them or we think they're all like that. No, but this is scientifically and epigenetically fact. 85% of white people do not have a pineal gland. They do not have a pineal gland. So this is why they do so much inhumane things. And they are a kind of man. They are mankind. We are the gods. We are hue man. H-U-E man. They are mankind. A kind of man. And they live in reverse. They live in backwards from the truth. They pervert. They twist the truth that's what that's what the liar does that's what the great thief does they it twists and perverts the truth it's deceiving to keep you under this spell so when they say when people say christianity is a white man's religion it really is they created that to keep you melanated black person under their spell and under their control because when you access your DNA and you access your melanin and you tap into who you really are, you literally become a god. Literally. You, you become the person that you've always been. The power has always been within you. Always. Now, that's all I'm going to share today. I'll be making more videos just breaking this down and really getting into, like, you know, um, the Council of Nicaea and just... Um, the history and the facts and just breaking it all down for y'all, showing y'all the receipts. That way you can have something to reference back to. Um, and I'll be doing that very, very soon. And I'll also be making a video for our lighter friends, brothers and sisters that lack melanin, but you still are melanated. You just lack deeper melanin. I want to do a video for you all as well, because not all light people Light-skinned people are white hybrids, okay? They are they are extensions of us. They come from the albino tribe and they are hue, man. They are they're just of a different hue, a lighter hue. But you have to be able to distinguish and discern between who's who. This is the time. We are now in fourth dimension. And in this dimension, vibration is everything. You don't judge people by the shade of their skin, but by the content of their vibration. Okay? And um I'm just going to just keep breaking this stuff down for y'all so that y'all can, you know, help liberate yourself, help set, you, set yourself free. OK, because we're in a new age. As y'all can see, this is the end of the world. And I keep saying this because it needs to get into your psyche. This is the end of the world. This is the apocalypse. This is revelation. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Their world is ending because it's not real. It's an illusion, and it was all built on lies. It was all built on lies. The black woman is God. She is the creator of all living, all life, all human life originated with the black woman. She is the divine mother. She is the generator, organizer, and dispenser of all human life. And respect will be given to her. And respect is due to her. All of this stuff that we see happening in that matrix system with black people and all of that and black men, what they do, the black men, it's all an attack on us. It's an attack on the black woman because they know who we are. They know who we are and they're trying to, they want to destroy us, but we cannot be destroyed. 
We are the first and we will be the last. So you just need to get in line or get left. We are the first and we will be the last. The last shall be first. In this new world, in this new earth, the last is first. The black woman is God. Give respect where respect is due. Okay? I'm sending y'all peace, love, and light. I hope that you all continue to vibrate higher, continue to gain knowledge of self, continue to grow in truth and research. There's a video by Dr. Ray Higgins. I'm going to um, link it in the description box below. It's a black brother. And um, he was actually a, he was a preacher and he, he went through his awakening and went through his rebirth and he realized, oh my gosh, all this stuff. And he breaks down all of the history and um, just shows how it's all fake. All Christianity was fake. It's, it's created. And there's another video that I'm going to try and find and link below as well with Dr. Umar Johnson. It's, it's, it's Bobby Valentine. It's a bunch of different Anthony Bowers. It's a bunch of different black historians and black educators that are dropping this knowledge. So um, I'm going to link that in the description box below. I also have a link to my website releasing to rise.com. A lot of you all are booking sessions right now. Knowledge of self birth chart sessions, inner child healing sessions. This is the time to heal. Okay, because we must vibrate higher. So a lot of y'all are being prompted to heal. All right. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and light. Bye.